Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get much better performance, and decrease latency, input delay, and improvise your gameplay in Valorant's new episode 6, Act 3, which has been dropped recently. In this video, I'm gonna be covering a lot of important settings, so make sure to watch this till the end. Also, don't forget to leave a like and drop your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Okay, step number one is the essential window settings and it is really, really important. For that, you have to go into the settings section of your windows and right over here, you have to go all the way down to the gaming section. Then click on game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on. You should always make sure that game mode is enabled. For most of you guys, game mode on will give you a better performance as it will optimize your PC by turning things off running in the background and allowing your PC to perform much better. Right beneath that, you will find the graphic settings. You need to click on these graphic settings, then go over to this change default graphic settings and make sure to enable both of these options. Then go back to graphics and here you will find a list of all of the games and applications that uses your GPU primarily will be listed right over here. If you don't find Valorant by default added to here, you can always go and click on the browse button and then go over to the install location of your Valorant. Make sure to add the valorant.exe over here, then click on browse, go to shooter game, then binaries win64 and also add the valorant win64 shipping over here. Then you wanna go back all the way to the Riot Games folder, go to Riot Client and add Riot Client Services and click on add once again. See all three of them are already added to my PC so I need to scroll down and set everything from going to options and setting to high performance. This will prioritize your game to draw outputs from your GPU. Right after that you need to go to the windows update section and then click on this check for update button and make sure that your windows is always up to date. If not you need to make sure that windows is always up to date since there are many bugs which are always constantly being fixed by windows. So. If you find any of the updates available, you can click on download and install and make sure to install all of these updates timely. Step number two is disabling Superfetch and this is really simple. Press Windows and R key together and then search for services.msc. Click on OK and then services will pop right in front of you. You need to select any service and press S. So you are down over here with all of the processes which starts with S. Now you need to find something called sysmain or alternatively named as superfetch if you are on windows 10. What you need to do is right click on it, go to properties and make sure that the startup type is set to disabled. Superfetch allows your applications to be loaded before you open them up just so you can save the time of the application opening up on your PC. But you really don't need this service because it will automatically start running the services in the background and keep it on and running and waiting for you to open it since it consumes so much memory and processing power in the background. So you can turn this thing off. However, if you feel the need of it, you can always turn it back on by doing the same step. And now go to the third step that is de-animating windows. And for sure, this is also really simple. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then select adjust for best performance. Then click on smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. Now this will make your windows look as it is, but it will disable 99% of the animations that you really don't need, which affects the quality and performance of your PC. Right after doing this step, you can see the changes it does to your PC. Step number four is system configuration. And for that, you have to search for system configuration on your PC, then go over to the boot section, then click on the current OS or default OS, which you can see, select advanced options, click on number of processors and make sure that you're using the maximum number of processors on your PC. This will enhance your boot time and your gaming performance in the long run. Right after that, you will find something called services. You can select hide all Microsoft services and that will hide all of the services that are required by the system. So you do not accidentally turn that off. And now you want to look for the services that are related to Google update. You do not want the Google update services to be running in the background since it is constantly drawing huge memory in the background. Make sure to turn this thing off, then click on apply, click on OK. then. Click on exit without restart since we're going to restart our PC later. Now step number five is exit lag. You can download exit lag from the link in the description below 
and the application looks like this. Why exit lag is a must have is because it will help you to fix all of the network issues as well as it fixes most of the FPS issues as well with this one single application. You will find a list of over 250 games to choose from. You can simply search for Valorant and then this small window will pop right in front of you. For the game region, you can select the nearest region to you. For me, the game region that is near to me is Dubai 01 and you can see the estimated ping that I'm getting over here is somewhere around 34 milliseconds simply click on apply routes and that should do your task go over to the tools section then fs boost section enable the first third fourth fifth and second last option and that will allow your pc to boost the fps drastically once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using exit lag however you can get a one month 12 month or six month subscription at a heavy discount if you go through the link in the description below you can get a flat 10 percent off as well as additional 44 percent off with the regular sale that is going on exit lag right now so i would highly recommend you guys to do it and see the changes it does to your pc now step number six is creating a restore point and this is really simple simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then in the system protection go and look for local disk c click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it valorant and just add e6 and simply click on create I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step since it is really really essential. It always creates an image file in the background of your PC. So if anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it is done, you can simply press close and close system properties. Step number seven is Valorant episode six act three FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Now with this update, this FPS pack is mandatory to be installed and used. In this FPS pack, you will find in PC optimization, CPU optimization, RAM optimization, Valorant priority, as well as the programs that you need to improve your game quality. Since this update is a little bit heavy, you'd have to run the PC optimization files in the first place. These optimization files will boost your PC's responsiveness, disable power throttling, increase power efficiency, as well as improvise the thread priority of your PC. And in the first place, you will find something called cache cleaner. You need to right click and run this as administrator. This step will clear all of the unnecessary unwanted applications and files that are cache files or temporary files running in the background. It won't harm any of your necessary data or windows files right after that you need to go to the second folder which is the cpu optimization folder go over to the cpu priority and i have left two folders in here if you are using an amd cpu you can run the amd file if you're using an intel cpu you can use the intel file now to know which cpu you're using you have to search for system information on your pc and then look for your processor for me it is amd processor as well as take a note of your installed physical memory that is 16 gb for me now i'm using an amd cpu so i have to use the amd folder but you can use any of these in which i have left the amd cpu priority i have to run it and if you're using an intel cpu you have to run the intel cpu priority right after that go to the third folder which is the ram optimization and as i have 16 gb ram i have to run the 16 gb ram registry this will improvise the performance of my ram and it will also help the performance of your ram once again if anything goes wrong you can always have a restore to default over here now then in the fourth folder you have valorant priority now if you are facing almost no fps issues but you want to increase the fps of your games you can go with the normal priority if you are facing a little stuttering issues you can go with the above normal but if you're facing drastic fps issues you can go with the high priority once again apply any one of them and have a look however it works for you guys lastly is the programs folder where i have left the unpack cpu.exe what you need to do is double click and open it up now this application is very very simple to use basically you have to select a system power plan to ultimate performance if you have it or you can select high performance for the system power state you can leave it to wherever it is then the main thing over here is the co-parking index basically our windows is designed in a way that it will never use the 100 percent of our processor unless and until it's necessary even while playing the games if your game is not utilizing all of the threads of your pc it will hibernate those threads which are not in use but we always want these threads to be empty or active even when they are not in use. So in any case of background services or overload, your PC can handle the services that are running on it and doesn't affect the performance of a gameplay. So for that, you need to slide all of this core parking index to 100% and click on apply. And you can see the parked cores go all the way down to zero and enable core 
goes down to the maximum value it can be different for you but this will ensure that all of your processors are up and running and just by doing this simple step you will see a drastic fps boost i highly recommend you guys to keep this open whenever you are playing the game and you can keep it minimized and let it run in the background our last and final step is the valorant in game settings and for that you have to open up valorant Okay, once you're in Valorant, what you need to do is go over to the settings section and in the general section, you have to make sure that raw input buffer is set to on. If it gives any issues, you can always turn this thing to off as well. You can go over to the video section. In the general, always use full screen and native resolution. However, you can go to the lower resolution that will give you ultimately upper hand on the fps go down for the nvidia reflex low latency and set it to on or on plus boost whichever works best for you then go to the graphics quality and this is the most important option over here that is multi-threaded rendering if you're seeing this option you need to keep it on then for the quality over here you need to turn everything to low vignette and v-sync off anti aliasing to none anisotropic to 1x and all of the rest to off these are the absolute best settings if you are going to play valorant on a daily basis once again guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below since it really helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out